Jerry, uh, uh. <laughs> the founder of Rhythmia, and he's here to talk to me a little bit more today about the experience at Rhythmia and plant medicine. So let's get started. I'm so glad to see you back here. Yes, I'm uh -huh. so grateful to be back. You're ready for another round? I'm uh -huh. so ready. Uh -huh. The first ceremony is tonight, by the way, so I haven't, <laughs> haven't gone through yet, but I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for here. you. I'm <laughs> Thank excited you. for you. Yeah, it's always so nice to have you here. Yeah. Always so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I wanted to ask you, how has Rhythmia changed in the last year? It's been about a year since I've been here. Uh-huh. So, you know, the Maloka is bigger mm -hmm. and the front desk is bigger and there's been changes in roots and that's about it. It basically stays the same. You know, our yeah. system is the same. The staff is generally the same, mm -hmm. you know, so we're we're kind of like in a groove, right? So we we operate 44 of the 52 weeks, and um, we just had a couple weeks off uh, to do renovations. But basically, you're in the same place in the same system. Yeah. It's the ship the moon set system. Yeah. You know? And yeah. it's so comfortable here, you guys. If you've ever been to Rhythmia, you know. But well, Costa Rica has a vibe in general, but yeah. the vibe here is just. So loving, you just immediately feel like you're taking care of. Everyone is so friendly, and yeah. all of the staff—they're yeah. all just glowing. Uh -huh. <laughs> just everyone is yeah, just truth, angels right? walking around, really. Yeah. And you just feel so comfortable and at, at ease for everything that you're about to experience. Like you truly have cultivated such a beautiful environment for transformation. We feel that, you know, we feel that that's the case, right? And uh, I mean, all the people that that work here drink or have drank medicine and. Mm -hmm. And there's a hundred and about 120 employees, and everybody is is focused on getting that client through the week and yeah. having them have that experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a real group effort. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. And you feel that like everyone so. is smiling and talking to you and saying hello, yeah. and you just completely feel welcome to be exactly who you are because. Oh, cool. We're all figuring that out more and more Absolutely. as the week goes on. Yeah. yeah, boy, are we. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of plant medicine, Jerry, I'd love to ask you how many times you have done it yourself. I'm at 274, I believe. So 274. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you, because at returning to Rhythmia again, and I imagine I just foresee it being something that I always want to come back to. Uh, good. I hope so. <laughs> we love having it. Thank you. Um, I wanted to know more about deepening the journey. Yeah, so the the thing is a lot of people say, well, 274, boy, you, you did you know too much of it and why? And so the first thing I want to preface that the reason that I do it is because mm -hmm. it's my job. I do it because I like to do it with each group once and there's a group a week, so that's what ends up happening for me. Most people who come to Rhythmia, so some interesting stuff about the statistics and how we keep statistics. All the statistics that I will mention are electronically reported by the person themselves. So 95.13%, that's 951 out of a thousand that come through, say they have this very specific type of miracle that involves merging of the soul. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And 70% of the people that have that done do not come back. Uh -huh. They just write us letters, things are great, da 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 da. But a third of the people, want to go more and mm -hmm. they want to go deeper and it's interesting because the moon said that you can merge your soul nine times because there are nine aspects to your soul okay. so you can do it nine times and i hate to use the terminology but like a video game it does get harder yeah each time mm -hmm. uh -huh. i can imagine i had this feeling yeah <laughs> it gets harder yeah. yeah it gets harder so the first one is boom yeah and the second one is usually boom but but as you get to three and four and five, it gets it gets hard. They're more elusive because you're dealing with higher vibrational aspects of your soul that are unmerged. So okay. it gets wild in there. Yeah. You know, most people that do it once are done. Yeah. They're they're done. Seventy percent of people are done. That's all they want to do. Yeah. But for those that really want to get in and, and mm -hmm. go the do the whole thing, it's a long process to yeah. to keep going and doing it and. And some people say to me, and I, I, I have to tell the truth, there are people that have merged a lot more than me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know people that have done uh, nine. Wow. Uh -huh. And I have. You so, haven't done nine? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
I'm about halfway through. I'm, I'm working on five. Okay. Uh -huh. And a lot of times though, when I'm journeying here, I'm not journeying specifically for that. You know, a lot of people that want to keep going deeper and they want to do these nine mergers, it can take a lifetime or yeah. it can take nine times. But each time you come, you, you get to a different place, mm -hmm. right? Because you know, you're, you're probably 500 to 1,000 lifetimes in this thing. Yes. Yeah? And there's a lot. Once you get through the stuff in this incarnation, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have to deal with other stuff that's carried yes. forward. And there's, you know, you can always keep going and going and going. A lot of my journeys are about things that I have been carrying with me. And then a lot of my journeys, because I take on a lot of energy from people, yes. right? Every week. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is getting cleaned, you know, to yes. clean these different energies out. And so it's a... Uh, it's super, super interesting though. And, and when I see people that have come back 10 and 12 times and the difference that it makes in their lives is really remarkable. I mean, it's uh, it's one thing to talk about it and then it's another thing to get to see it. Mm -hmm. And just to see, I just see people just get right and, and, and then have like this, this beautiful experience of this life. And that's, that's really what the whole thing's about, right? Like, yes. uh, like if you merge and you don't enhance your experience of this life, it's it's worthless. Yeah. So like the the whole thing I think from our standpoint is we just want to make sure that that you know people are seeing this this huge difference in their life and they do. Uh huh. Yeah. And that's the fun part. Yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's like it keeps expanding and evolving as mm -hmm. time goes on, it and does. I feel like that's why I'm back is because. I've noticed how it's affected all different areas of my life and uh -huh. just my connection with my higher self or my intuition, whatever you want to call it. I'm just continually led and then led back here and I'm like that. excited about uh -huh. it. I'm jealous because <laughs> you're 27. Mm -hmm. What a gift to have at 27, you know, that's such a, and when I see, and we get so many, you know, such an age discrepancy here. Mm -hmm. I had an Episcopal priest this past week who was 80, 81. Wow. Uh huh. 81. And at the same time, an 18 year old, you know, so like you yeah. get both ends, but I get super jealous when young people are coming <laughs> in and get it and get cooking, and you think, oh my God. Yeah. You know, they have another 70 years of, of life to, to live from a, from a merged position is a yes. great, great, great place. But right? you made that possible. <laughs> yeah. You made that yeah, possible. Made it, made it right? possible for me. And, and oh, I'm just like, so I sweet. really am so truly And grateful. I'm so thankful <laughs> for you. Like every time I see you, uh, you just, you, 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 you glow. You know? You're <laughs> doing you. a great job. You're Thank doing a great you, job. Yeah, for real. I yeah. have a question for, sure. for tonight's ceremony. Uh -huh. So because I, already had a merge. Uh -huh. Do you recommend following through with the three intentions? I do the same because because okay. you see the thing is, you know, the this this nine comes up, yeah? Yeah. In in the in the numbers. So when you get into when you get into the mess and you get into code and, and you see these three three threes, three three threes, three three threes. Mm -hmm. And the moon said that that's that there's three gifts. Uh, there's three Three gifts, three awarenesses, uh huh, freedoms. and three freedoms. Yeah, and the the each time that you get another piece of that, it has this this thing that you happens in your life, and and I can see it in code. I can't see it in words, mm -hmm. but by that adjustment, all this other stuff adjusts. Yeah. So it's like okay. you're you're way ahead. Yeah. Like when you, it's, it'd be like in dominoes, yeah? Yes. That, you know, this domino falls over here, but this shit way out there is getting triggered. Yeah. It's just amazing. And when you get to it, like, okay, so the, the chronology goes this way. And once you get to it and it's already done and you get, you get like, wow. Uh-huh. So, so each of those mergers has something that goes on. Wow. Uh -huh. Crazy stuff, right? Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about, I know, right? I know what you're talking yeah. about because it's like this continuous unfolding, as uh -huh. you mentioned, like the dominoes, and yeah. it continuously unfolds, and you know, after Rhythmia, it's like the miracles keep happening. I yep. consider all many things to be miracles that have happened since 
arrhythmia and I just have this inner knowing that uh -huh. it's because of the work that I've done. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. She's up, she always shows up for the pictures. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And she's Costa Rican too. Yeah, that's a Costa Rican street doggy. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah. can I find one to take home? Aren't they the cutest things, yeah? yeah? so uh -huh. cute. <laughs> so, Jerry, do you have any advice for anyone who is has either come to Rhythmia or thinking about coming to Rhythmia, yeah, but not knowing if it's kind of that intuitive call or if they're you know resisting um, it in any way. So so if you're listening to this, yeah, mm -hmm. and your soul's ready, yeah, it's not going to. And I can tell, like sometimes I'll be talking to people, mm -hmm. and they'll ask me a question, and they'll say, "What's it like?" And I'll say what it, what it's like, yeah. and they automatically like reverse out of the mm -hmm. conversation because their soul's not ready yes. yet so they just gloss over or change the subject or and they're not and then you'll meet the person and you'll say it and they won't leave you alone yeah. they'll keep saying well what about what about and it's because their soul's dying to do it so what what i always tell people is and you hear this conversation you will know if it's for you by the level of your own inquiry. Like mm -hmm. if, if all of a sudden, even if you think you want to know about it, just so you don't do it, yeah. it's the same thing. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's like, oh, I want to find out about that because I want to rule it out for me. That's it Yeah. asking you yeah. To, to participate. <laughs> I'm yeah. like thinking of these, these people are popping into my mind and uh -huh. people in my life or even like some of you guys I know always have questions like, oh, I, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready, but you cannot perceive what you're not in the vibration of. So uh -huh. I think honestly, anyone who is watching this video and you're here still <laughs> like watching us, yeah. there is that intuitive pull, whether you can recognize it or not, that's trying to tell you that it's time or this could be something that could help you or cure you or just allow you to live a more fulfilled life. I love that. And, it, and it's so true. And it, the beauty that, that we see is that that this whole thing is so complicated. So the medicine is two things, right? It's super complex and it's super simple yeah. at the same time. Yes. And it's really wild because uh, in its simplest thing, it's love, right? Mm -hmm. In its simplest, it's just love and you get it and, and then you can apply that love. And in, in its most complicated, it's so crazy that, uh, that and, and, and yet there's a part of your soul that already knows all of this stuff and and that has been like uh, repositioned from a split that you had that wants to get back here so it's it's using all of that to listen to this to push the person back to the, the wholeness yes. you know it's this crazy three-dimensional chess game that's being played mm -hmm. uh-huh and and you're doing it yeah. You know, that's the crazy thing is when you finally, when I finally saw that was one of my best journeys when mm -hmm. I was like, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm the guy fucking me. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the guy, I, I get it. And then I thought like, oh, that sucks. You know, that yeah. really sucks. And at the same time, it sucks and it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, because I can fix it, right? It's, but but this is the, the same thing, the medicine, your soul, Everybody's trying to, to push us back together. Yes. Uh -huh. And when we're ready, we will. Yeah. Yeah. When you're ready, you'll hear it. You're lucky because you were ready at such a young age. It's so oh. wonderful. Well, you thank know? you. Really, it is. And, uh, and, and, and saying that, though, too, I want to say this. Whether you're 80 or 90 or 50, when or 20, when that happens, when you come back together, all the time that you lost, is, is given back to you. It, re it really is. It really is. is. Yeah. And uh -huh. this is something that yeah. I experienced too in my first ceremony uh -huh. last year. And uh -huh. as Jerry explained to us this morning in, in our orientation, kind of an intro to plant medicine and how to use it, uh -huh. <laughs> really like how to go with the adventure. Uh -huh. But um, you had spoken about like the medicine, Mother Ayahuasca, she goes to priority first. Yes. So it, if you're coming in here at any age, like you, how do I explain it? It's my first ceremony last year. Show me who I become. Uh -huh. And for the first drink that I had, 
I was dancing, you know, other people are vomiting and crying, and I'm like dancing and just like playing with her, and she's showing me all these fun things, and I was like laughing so much and having the best time with her. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I took a second drink, and then I had to take a more deeper journey within yeah. and have a consult merge and all of these <laughs> all things that happen. Journey work, yeah. And then I asked the shaman at the beginning, I'm like, this started off real fun. Like, this started <laughs> off like the most funnest adventure ever, and like, she, they saw me like dancing and everything and she said I want to ask you something she's like was your childhood taken away from you like very uh -huh. at a very young age uh -huh. and then yes uh -huh. and then so she's like mother I also was giving you all of that back the dancing the laughing isn't that the most beautiful it's thing so beautiful I, I just feel so lucky and I truly feel like no time is lost now it not... used to be I'd look back at my past and feel a feeling of like resentment uh -huh. and it's washed away. Really Isn't that the most beautiful thing? And yeah. that's, that's what, you know, even though I get jealous of, of the youth yet, yeah, at the same time, when I was, what, 52 when it happened to me, and, uh, and all of what I've lost, everything that I lost was given to me in that night. Yeah. So you get even in that, it's a yeah. crazy thing. And that night you get even, and then you're even forevermore yeah mm -hmm. so what you said is absolutely true and, and it happens like uh, for older people and, and a lot of you know I I maybe because I'm getting older but you know the older people have a special place in, in my heart and mm -hmm. a lot of them that come here because they've led really hard hard lives yeah. that have been hard on themselves mm -hmm. yeah and when I see them get it, holy God, it's like, you know, the 78-year-old guy is like a child. Yes. And he's, it's just a child, and you're like, boom, that's it. Yeah. It's just great shit. It's the amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's the yeah. rebirth. It, can, it just keeps so happening. crazy, right? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I'm super, I feel super lucky and blessed, and, and to be humbled is anything. People always say... Not people always say, because once they know me, they know I'm not, but some people mistakenly think I'm a thought leader, and it's just not at all true. I'm a cheerleader for a plan. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a cheerleader yeah. for a plan, and, and that's like the most humbling thing that, you know, it's the most beautiful way to live. Yes. Know? It's a great way to live, so I'm, I always feel so lucky, you know, I'm blessed to to be here and to, to get to see this, like this week there's probably 85-ish people. And I get to see this every week that these, they, they come in one way and they leave absolutely whole and then they they become a friend of Rhythmia's forever, yes. right? You know, and they talk about us and do all that. And one thing that was interesting, yeah, when we first started, some people were going to start to go to TripAdvisor. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, you know, like, I just hope we do okay on TripAdvisor. And now we're the number one customer rated resort of any type in the world. So, uh -huh. like, we beat the Waldorf Astoria, yeah. the Four Seasons, oh my gosh. the place <laughs> yeah. with a thousand reviews, you know? Like, yes. it's crazy. People have this, you, you just, if anybody has any question, do me a favor, please, and go to TripAdvisor, Rhythmia, and just read yeah. what these folks say about what happens here. Yeah. It changes your life. <laughs> you guys, like, really and truly, last, like, less, just less than a year ago, my life is completely different and so I much more that. fulfilled, and it's just the best thing I could have ever done for myself. I love Hands that. Hands down. And, I you know, I've, I've made pretty big decisions, like moving abroad and uh, going vegan, and <laughs> that uh -huh. but, and that have really changed my life. But uh -huh. this How was, like, a whole other level of, like, completely understanding myself. I love that. Yeah. That makes me happy. And, <laughs> yeah. I got a miracle, and now I'm going to get more miracles, I'm so sure. <laughs> I know you are. I'd love yeah. to see you this week, to see what happens with you. Oh. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much, Jerry. Thank you so much for having me, always. I really appreciate it. I do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I just like to say to people, you know, because when I... You know, you were a very together woman, yeah? Mm -hmm. And and But when I came to the medicine, I was, I had lost all hope in my life. I had zero hope. And and I, I love to, I love people that have it together that go to the next level. And, and, but my heart goes out to people that 
that just are on the verge of giving up. And what I would ever say to somebody is, please don't ever give up because this thing that happens to you once this once you merge mm -hmm. that you're one thought away no matter how bad it seems you're one yeah. thought away from everything being okay one thought away one one thing away so please if you're having a hard time or a struggle don't give up uh, because i was worse than anybody that i've ever seen in my experience yet and and suicidal and tried to kill myself two times and all that and i just tell you that what whatever you do do not give up because this this miracle and in life either nothing's a miracle or everything's a miracle mm -hmm. right but this and if everything's a miracle then there are different types of miracles so this particular type of miracle can and will happen to you yeah you know it will yeah. and, and and as a matter of fact sometimes the more the more you've given up and the more and the self-loathing, hating thing you are, the quicker and the, yes. the firmer it is when it happens, it snaps, you yeah. know? Yeah, so please don't give up. If there's anybody there and 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 you're having a super hard time, don't give up because this happens and it's good shit. And, and it works. And it does work. It really works. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Well, like Jerry said, one thought away, one decision, and you yeah. owe it to yourself. Like. You owe it to yourself. Absolutely. And this yeah. entire place, Rhythmia, is a total gift from the moment that you land in Costa Rica until you're leaving. Thank everything you is a gift. Thank you for saying that. All yeah. of the, you know, the seminars, the yoga, the plants, everything's a gift. It's yeah. just truly so incredible and you owe it to yourself. So, so yeah. Thank you so yeah. much again for thank having you. me. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very good, and thank you guys for watching this. Great. Yeah, thank you, Perfect. and I'll be leaving all the links for Rhythmia down below, so please take the time to check it out, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye! Bye now. <laughs>